way the lab section has traditionally been run is through what I call pencil and paper kinds of labs. So what the telescope is going to offer is a chance for them to go and get some real data and get into the lab with that data and do the analysis and actually perform a little experiment. But they're actually doing it and the students have their hands on the keyboard and they're actually they're actually running the show. Um, press the slew telescope button again. The telescope should now be pointed so that your object will appear in the center of the Im image when you take a picture. A common misconception is that were I to go out into space and with my eyeball hover above these objects, I would see them in all of this full glorious color, which is unfortunately not true at all. All of that detail is in there, but all of that detail is very, very subtle, so it takes a bit of processing work to, to pull the colors out. So I point the telescope, I put the red filter in, take a picture, put the blue filter in, take a picture, put the green filter in, take a picture, and then later at the computer, I reassemble, I assign a color to that layer and reassemble the image. I'm doing a lot of other things to clean the noise out of it, and I really want to pull out the details, so I'm going to do some things mathematically to the image um, to, to make the details stand out, and then I'm going to do things to the colors to make different parts of the image stand out differently that I want to highlight. Scientifically, it's just amazing to me to watch, to watch the inner workings of the universe unfold in front of me, right? To figure out what's driving this phenomenon, how does it work? And this is what this institution is all about.